made it just make a history and germ of course man appreciate the time bro uh like i said first time in new york it's crazy man the vibes out here are hella different you know coming from texas mm -hmm. uh the more low-key out there you know i see that everybody out here is outside you know kind of just doing their own thing um I know one thing about you, man, you know, starting with your brand Barriers, you know, you came from the ground up. So can you talk to us a little bit about that just to see, like, yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like for me, it's like, you know, just growing up in New York, it's like something that you're like, not say like born with, but like, like you have to adapt very quickly because this is a city that moves very fast. So like, you know, we're in a city where like, you know, everything's moving fast paced. So like, you know, growing up here, it was cool because like, I just had, I had to learn to find my way. like throughout high school like I didn't really know like what I, I really wanted to do but like after the high school I feel like you know like 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 my first goal was like to myself was like all right cool like I want to be a producer I want to make beats but okay. after that like I felt like you know I, I wasn't I wasn't doing it before before like college so like in a sense it wouldn't it didn't feel too organic for me but for clothing and fashion you know I've been getting fly my whole life so like just getting like doing it it was kind of like not easy but like it was like all right cool like i could introduce myself to that because like i know a little about it so like but like just having a fashion brand in general is like it's tough but it's fun at the same time because like you get to learn about yourself and like depending who you are and depending if you could take constructive criticism you could grow in certain ways and and it's different routes you could take but like you know just growing up in new york itself is great because it just taught me a lot like you know just like how to like you know how to move with people relationships right design wise aesthetic just looking at my friends and how they get fly and what they doing and like you know just being inspired, being inspired. by the things that's like literally right in front of you and not looking into a phone because you know nowadays and, it's like, yeah well, everything is like media you no know, for, for most people that have a brand now it's most like you know we grew up in the internet stage so like it's people is just looking online for references and shit but like like not a lot of people have culture or travel right to get insight on these things that they want to be you feel me but for me i'm still learning myself so like you know like i'm not perfect either so i feel like you know i'm still learning i'm still traveling there's a lot of things i don't know yet that i'm st you know i'm willing to learn and you know i'm learning through my friends as well you feel me and then i'm just using all of that to become a better person nice. at this point like as it should be right as yeah it should be like i think uh one thing that i love about your brand is just like just how you're explaining it it's very personal with you you feel me mm -hmm. you're not just trying to make your own brand to just like come up like you said uh, a lot of us in high school you feel me like don't know really what we want to do you know or what path we want to get into like you said you thought it was going to be a producing thing with you but you kind of seen that you've been like you said fly your life is something that you kind of just naturally gravitate towards right yeah and uh i think uh with anything that you want to be like in, in your career whatever it is uh anything that comes naturally like that I feel like it's something that you can always put, you make sure that you have like 100% into it. And just by seeing your brand and seeing how you speak on it, you can definitely tell that you're 110% in at all times. And I feel like a lot of people now that are into their brand kind of don't yeah. show that, you feel me? Yeah. It's kind of just like, oh, let me make this brand to try to come up. Yeah, but like, you know, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, we live in a world where like, nothing is really right or wrong. Like, right. Cause if somebody does a brand, but they doing it for business, they want to make money. That's cool too. But right. like everybody got their own like lane, you know, like yeah, of course. it's business at the end of the day. But yeah. it's just like, I want my business to have a story behind it. And like, I want it to have like, you know, like when people look at it, like, you know, they can relate to it. Exactly. And like, you know, they could tell their own story throughout my clothing. But like, we in a time where like, you know, if you got, if you want to do something, you just got to do it at this point. Cause a lot of people is talking, but not a lot of people is working. So, exactly. you know, if you got an idea that you really want to push out, just do it at the end of the day. And then if you really enjoy your craft, you should learn more about it. And then if you don't know more about it, get a team of people who can help you and then right. build a vision. Cause like at the end of the day, like it doesn't take one person. It takes a lot of people. So like, of I got a lot of people that help me out. So kind of you know, surround yourself around people yeah. that'll bring you, you know, mm -hmm. like you said, inspire you at yeah. the same time. And same with how you got, it's like all y'all here, like y'all all understand the vision, obviously, because y'all yeah. all came out here to yeah. New York. So like, had to, it's like, <laughs> you just need people that's on the same page like y'all. And then like, people you know, that are motivated, I exactly. Guess, yeah. And driven. And like, you know, like not like, like you could talk to people and try to put it in them, but they just got to have it in them to like, you know, like, yo, this is not like, this is not all I want for my life. Like, you know, I want more, like, you know? Yeah, self-driven kind of. Facts. You put it there. But like, you know, it's a dope, like, 
just, you know, it's, <laughs> the world would be nothing without art. So it's, a, it's I'm happy to be in this position right now. So like, you know, like for anybody that's doing a brand right now, like you just gotta just like, when you know it, when, like, when you know it's gonna work out, just stand behind it. Cause like, I'm not like, it's hard to force people to see your, see your vision, but like, if you believe in it, just put, you know, put your time and your effort and your money into it. Just be consistent with shit it. gonna blossom like yeah. you know like I don't want something that's gonna blossom in like two years like I want my shit to blossom over time so like you know I can figure out more about myself because like if I grow too fast it's like damn like I'm lit now what like yeah. you know like kind of I gotta go through shit like sometimes like you know we all gotta go through shit and like you 100%. know that's the beauty of it you feel me like no uh, 100% Kid, couldn't agree more with you bro just where the name barriers came from just so like they can get an understanding so barriers wasn't supposed to be the like my name was supposed to be some shit called a fair one. Fair one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was, was an like, OG name. Yeah, OG name was okay. nah. But like my friend gave me the name Barriers though. Like you should name it Barriers. And then I was like, Barriers, but like I'm thinking about Barriers. Like yo, that shit is made to like prevent you from doing something. So I'm, right. like, I'm like, nah. But I'm keep saying it in my head like Barriers. I'm like, <laughs> Barriers is it. But like the reason that we use Barriers is because like for me, it's made to like separate us from the rest. Because a lot of people want to like, you know, but like I'm just like I'm standing in my own lane and like that's my barrier for me, you feel right. me? Yeah. But it can mean a, a lot of different things to oh, different people, people you right, feel yeah. me? So like it's a cool name though. I like it though. Like it took it like honestly, it took time to grow on me too. Cause I was right. like barriers. I'm like, nah. <laughs> I keep going to the dictionary, I'm reading the death, I'm like, nah. Uh, but, but it took time and then I realized like, yo, everybody faced their own barriers. Like, you know, it can mean many different things. So like Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. But you can um, break barriers to get to your goal. Like I said, anybody yeah. see, that's the first thing I saw that. Mm -hmm. When I, when I heard barriers, I was like, maybe he went somewhere and like I'm breaking the barriers of like what people mm -hmm. will kinda expect out of you yeah. know, like a fashion brand. And just cause like you said, your your clothing is so unique, your work is so unique, your art is so unique. So mm -hmm. Uh, that's kind of how I took it, but now that I get like your perspective on it, it's yeah. pretty dope to see like. Yeah, it's just like it's just like we just standing in our own lane. Like you know, we driving the highway, like we yeah. in the HOV, and y'all y'all can drive in the other three lanes, but we in my own lane. You feel yeah. me? Exactly. And then whoever is aligned with my vision will be in that lane too. So. Exactly. Feel me? But like I just feel like too like we in a world where like you know things is changing. So like if you got to like like I said, you got a brand. Like I just had a meeting today with somebody about my brand and like. Sometimes like we all need to do like self evaluations on ourselves and on our brands like just to see like where you stand and where you could be because like yeah. you know other people could see you in a certain light than you see yourself but like exactly it's good just to see you know it's like you know just to like just to check the just check the temperature and everything but like you know just to see where you're at yeah, yeah kind of thing that's right? the thing that's what type of time I'm on right now like just self evaluation okay and, like, just evaluating your work just like I'm trying to just be a, like a better person a better designer. Yeah. Better, better person, my family. You know what I'm talking about? Like, take time, like you know, and then just having a brand and dealing with mad emotions right. on top of that, it's crazy. It might be going on, but like that's the shit we sign up for. So, oh yeah, it's a lot. Me? Bro. Like, it's, it's a, a lot. lot yeah. You feel me? And then like you know, it's, it's good though, cause like at the end of the day, like I get to pass down this information to somebody else, and then whoever likes the information, they're gonna apply it. If not, they're gonna right. let it fly. But like you feel me? Like I'm going through shit right now. If I could tell people, I'm gonna tell them, like you know, so they could not go through what I'm going through, so. Right, just so they can get a different yeah. perspective on it when they're right. trying to do the same thing. But but that's dope, bro. Like I said, not a lot of people are going to, like, break it down to you like that and show you mm -hmm. that, you know, like, the sacrifices you have to make in businesses like this, you feel me? So, yeah. Uh, but just, like, also, too, like, even, like, the design aspect of everything, it's right. too, it's, like, we know where we're at. We go on Instagram, everybody wants to be, like, another person. Like, the upcoming kid, that's probably, like, if they see something, they're going to try to make something that looks like that thing that they like. But, exactly. like, we, like you just gotta just like do your honest, own thing. Just do your own thing. Yeah. I'm telling you, because like, take you far, bro. Like I said, it's, just it's do the your unique, own thing. The, like the uniqueness of people's like facts. own ideas of it. Like just do your own thing. Like you know, like and even with my brand right now, like I'm partnering with like the states. So I'm actually like these black hero, like these black heroes that like we are doing designs with. We're okay. actually getting a chance to actually partner with them now. So like. Just be able, just being able like to hear their stories, right? And then like you know apply it to my design process is amazing too, because like you know a lot of these people I grew up watching in school or listening music if it's a music industry person, right? But like you know it's dope to even just connect with them and hear their journey, and oh, yeah. then like you know, but, get inspired by yeah. what they've gone through, kind of. You mm -hmm. know, so. But that's the thing with my brand, like I'm trying to keep it as as organic as possible though, like just like just you know like like. Like, like the path I'm walking, like nobody walked this path before. So like, you know, I'm taking the risk for somebody else coming up. And like, I'm willing to do that. Like, you feel me? So like, oh, yeah. 
feel me? Like, and we just, see it, bro. Yeah, like, we like, see it. Like, mm-hmm. like now talking to you like this, bro. I could, like I said, I see how passionate you are about it. Yeah, bro. and we love that. You feel me? Like, because yeah. we're on the same kind of thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Like we're just trying to make our brand and show people that we actually love doing this. You feel me? At the end yeah, of the day, yeah, bro. It's a big deal, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, like we only got like a hundred years on this earth. Like literally, like shit is a little bit. Yeah. Like. And some people was going out early, so it's like if yeah. you don't do what you like, and then you really don't start until you, depending on your parents, right. yeah. they might start too young. You got good, like you know, depending on, on, on like your living situation. But for me, it's like I got started at 20, 21. So it's right. like if, if you could give somebody the knowledge from younger, it's like it's better for Even the future. Better. You feel me? Like yes, bro. so like you really don't got that much time, but like I'm already still known. like enjoy life and have these moments, but like still like push hard to your goals because it's like. It's not that much time out there, bro. I feel you on that one, bro. Like I said, if I would have known what I know now when I was, like, 18, man, like, it's just, like, it's yeah. so much more convenient, right? Like, now that you see it like that. Uh, but, like I said, bro, dope to hear, like, how passionate you're about this, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, Want to talk a little bit about more about the Barriers brand. Uh, we recently seen uh, our boy KD was rocking your stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, for you, someone like you, bro, like, coming up, you know, from New York, just being able to, like, uh, I guess be inspired by athletes and stuff like that mm-hmm. and just like people around the city uh, how was that feeling I want to know just like the feeling it was to see like damn like, it's fire hey, honestly hey, rocking my shit. keep like, on it it's fire yeah. I love it I love all that shit honestly when you wear it I love it cause like I used to play with him in 2k so it's like exactly right <laughs> as simple as that like I play with him in 2k drop 60 and actually <laughs> wearing my hoodie to a game and dropping 50 or 60 is fire like yeah. in real life time so like it's cool but i never met him personally he don't really like we never met yet so like okay. but most people that know my brand like i was telling y'all like they don't really they never met me before like you know like my brand is kind of bigger than me at this point where like exactly. i could say nice hoodie to somebody and they're gonna walk right past me so yeah. it's like you know but that's a dope because like you get to see different perspectives on, on your brand you feel me 100 percent. but like you know it's dope though like Every, like, all the athletes that wear it, like, it's super organic, though. Like, I really don't give away a lot of clothes. Yeah. I'd rather give, like, I, I would give clothes away to somebody that I grew up with when I was young than, than to a celebrity or anything like that. You know, like, you know yeah. this is a different meaning behind his clothes. So, like, I'm not really pressed for a celebrity to wear it. But, like, when they do wear it, I love that shit, though. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, especially when it's organic, they like, tagging me. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Like, there's yeah. little shit that you don't have to do that they do that, you know, it means a lot, especially to an upcoming brand. So, like, exactly. it helps out for sure. Like, nah, yeah, bro. It makes perfect sense, like you said. It's organic. You know, like you said, mm-hmm. maybe they don't know who the creator of it is yet, but just them rocking it, it's because they naturally fuck with it. Yeah. They're like, they're like, damn, I see this hoodie. And then just like, for example, like KD wearing it, that was huge, bro. I remember seeing the picture. Uh, I think uh, Landon had showed it to me, mm-hmm. right? I mean, Landon. And I was like, damn, like that boy Varda doing big things. Mm-hmm. Like, just like I said, bro, like, it's dope to always see someone, you know, that comes from, like I said, like from the ground up doing shit like this, bro. Like, just to let people know, like, you work, you really put in, like I said, being consistent, being true to, like, your own style. Like, it's yeah. gonna take you far, bro. Yeah, man. And like, works, honest, yeah. yeah, like, the craziest part is, too, with having a brand or just having a company in general, like, like people don't see, like, the hard times. So, like, that's why we got a people like that have the brand that's successful right. or successful to people and people are because to me I'm still grinding I don't even see this like I feel like I just started honestly <laughs> right. but like it's You're good still on it, yeah. yeah it's good to just like you know like we got to have like we got to have these interviews and these talks and these conversations because like that's going to help people out for the future like you know exactly. if you really want to make the world a better place then we really got to help the yeah. people coming after us so. exactly and that's kind of why we started up this video is like just you know just trying to get exposure to people you know let people know like yeah yo like you could really you know do it yourself too you feel me like it doesn't have, you don't have to be a big ass fucking celebrity or anybody yeah. about your own brand like yeah, just like man. us bro you know like we're just trying to start from the ground up and you know see where it takes yeah, us, man. You feel me? this shit bigger than clothes honestly yeah. too like Fuck clothes. Like, yeah. if you want to be a doctor or whatever, you got to go hard on that shit, too. Because, like, there's people that want to be surgeons. Like, if you don't know how to cut up, like, he's like, you can't be a surgeon. Like, yeah. whatever you're doing, just go hard at it. I feel like we in a place where, like, we, like, we want to try to do multiple things. That's cool. But, like, I feel like for me, like, I got to master this. And then after I master this, I could jump to another task. But I feel like, you know, I, like, like, I'm just getting my feet wet. Like, I don't even know, like, the full potential of what I could do yet. Like, you know, I'm still figuring out my powers in a sense. You feel exactly. me? So, like... It's a long journey though, like, you know, like I recommend if you do anything, like just, you know, just think about it long term. Think like, about it long term, okay. Facts, like, you feel Great me? advice. 
and then like also get your business shit right. So get an LLC. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Like invest in that. With it, yeah. You feel me? Like go get a go a GoDaddy, go get a Shopify, and do these things. Cause like people want to do the brand, but they don't really like know like the back end. Like, and then like you know as you grow, you know you gotta improve your website, improve your team, and like you know. Right. You can't like as you making money, you can't keep the same structure of business. Like you gotta improve everything. Like it's like fixing up a car. Like you gotta put like you know the mods on it. Like exactly. put a turbo on it. You know, fix the intake, yeah, all that wanted, shit. You like you wanted to go fast, you gotta make yeah, put the like, money into it. You gotta put the work into it. So like, no, nah, that's what's up, bro. Like we're super excited, bro, to see like how far your brand goes. Uh, I love that we we were able to do this video, kind of like on your journey still. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. how you just described that you're still working. You know, you're still pushing, you know, mm -hmm. like you haven't let off the gas. And uh, like I said, I love what you're doing, bro. I love that it's organic, that it's natural, that, you know, you're not really, like you said, pressing anything. You're kind of just like, hey, yeah. this shit, you know, pops off, it pops off. Um, lastly, I know we've been chopping it up for a minute, man. Uh, I don't want to take up much more of your time. But before yeah. we head out, uh, just one more question. Uh, personally, like, where would you want to see, uh, I guess, your brand long term? Like, let's say, let's say like 10 years from now. Fuck it, I'm gonna throw the sauce out. Um, obviously, I wanna have a store. Right. I wanna shoot movies. I wanna have a toy company. Toy company. Um, I wanna open like Black History Museums in every state and That's shit good. like that. Like That's you know, good. just like and just have like a little scholarship fund thing. Okay. Like you know, I'm trying to do a little bit of everything. Like touch like like do what I'm doing now, but also touch like the nonprofit side of things too. But like I want to like like you know like most like black brands they don't last. Like, you know, they don't really like, like, like a Ralph Lauren or a Gucci or Louis or like, you know, they don't right. really last that, you know, that test of time. But like, right. I'm trying to just do the right thing so I can last that test of time. You know, you feel me? And exactly. just like, you know, like shit I'm trying to aim for has never been done before. So like, I'm just trying to like, you know. Keep that same mentality for sure. Bro. Yeah. I want the recognition and the power. Okay. Like both, okay. like just, cause most people like they give you the recognition, but they won't give you like the resources to get that what they got. So like. I just want to be able to do both and give both. So. And be able to give back. Yeah, bro. No, I love that, bro. That's a sure. new lane. You it feel is, me? Like, it is. I don't yeah. even know what the next turn is, honestly. Yeah. Like. <laughs> nah, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, you seem like you, you know, yeah. you, you're very focused. Yeah. And I love that, bro. Like I said, it inspires me a lot. Mm -hmm. Just with anybody, honestly, just uh, to be able to see how kind of your perspective on things. Because mm -hmm. uh, to me, Bears is already a huge brand. You feel yeah, me? yeah, It's already yeah. a huge, huge brand. So... Like I said, we're excited to see how far you go, bro. And like I said, the journey, just it's cool to just be able to see, like, yeah, this, my boy right here started from the bottom. And yeah, no, nah, I appreciate right that, bro. Yeah, appreciate the time, love, bro. bro. Come on, yes, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Talk with you guys, man. Yeah. Appreciate you guys, man. Have a good one.